Greetings, peace and blessings, happy Sunday. Today is the day that the sun governs, and the sun is currently in Libra <laughs> at like the third or fourth degree of something like that. Um, and today is the beginning of Mercury retrograde, and so that's really why I'm here. I haven't really, as you guys know, I've been traveling for a couple of weeks, and I got home yesterday. I'm so happy to be home, and um traveled from New York. I stayed in New York overnight and then I traveled yesterday to um, Los Angeles. And so I've not really done, a, I've not done a lot of anything because when I got home I was sleepy. But because it's Mercury retrograde, I wanted to come in and share a little bit. But I wanted to say that my travels were really fun and there were so many things that were um, exciting and funny and all those kind of stories. And I really want to tell a lot of them. And I just don't want to do it today, though. But one of the things that I have to share, does anybody know that lemon is a natural deodorant? You know, I got to Egypt and I use like healthy deodorant. I use like lavender deodorant. And, and I realize that um, lavender deodorant doesn't work in Egypt <laughs> where it is hot as fuck. And I was like, oh, I'm about to be really funky the whole time. And remembered that a friend of mine had told me before that you can use lemon as deodorant. And I used lemon the entire time. Every restaurant we would go into or every place where we ate, I would ask for lemon. And I would just rub a little lemon under my arms. And it worked. It, it's like literally, I don't know if I'll ever buy deodorant again. Because lemon is the real deal. It kills any sort of bacteria. We know that already. It kills bacteria. Stop it. Move. Sit down. Something. Um, it kills bacteria and it kills scents, right? So I didn't have any body odor. Like, like less body odor than, like it didn't even make sense I had no body odor. It was very, very, very interesting how the lemon really worked. So... That's just like a fun tip that I want you all to know that if you're in space, you know, like when we have like for those of us who don't like deodorants that have aluminum in them, those deodorants cause they block your pores and they they clog up your lymph system and it um, <laughs> they clog up your lymph system and they can enhance you getting, you know, diseases that are um you know, like breast cancer and things like that. And so lemon is the cure. Lemon, white, no, nothing. <laughs> lemon. I just want to lemon. It works. It works. It works. So today is Sunday. The sun is in Libra and um, the moon is in Gemini and we are in the first day of a Mercury retrograde. In this moment, I don't know if I'm going to do a Mercury retrograde class or not. I might do something like a basic ritual, but I really do want to talk to you all about how to use the energy for Mercury retrograde um, and and really help you so that you can utilize this time um, most appropriately. So the first thing you really want to do is go check out for the last three weeks what's been going on in your relationship sector. Just look at the last three weeks and see where you've been around relationships. Like, what stories have you been telling yourself about relationships? And because Mercury is retrograding in Libra, and Libra is about partnership, marriage and partnership. So this Mercury retrograde is designed, is here to assist us in um, being and creating a new narrative around the way we relate to others. And it's important that we recognize that these patterns, the way we relate to people is, it comes from our patterns, childhood patterns, um, your sense of belonging as a child, and and how you, how people respond to you is how we sort of take on these behaviors, right? So for me, for instance, I know I don't anymore, but I always wanted to belong. One of the things that I became really aware of on this trip and that I was recognizing is that when I was young, just because of how I grew up, and many of you guys who've been following me for a long time know how I grew up. I grew up in an environment with parents who were addicts and, you know, um, my grandmother raised me and she had like 
five children and many of them were addicts. And, and so I never really felt bonded. I always was yearning for deeper connections. So my relationships were always founded on me wanting to belong, wanting to feel needed, wanting to feel necessary. And so I had spent the last couple of years really noticing that like, oh, I'm, I'm doing this because I want this person to like me, or I'm acting this way because I want to belong, or I want to fit in. And, and so I have been reframing those energies, like looking at them in a new way and, and deciding that this is not how I'm going to show up. But if you understand where Libra is in your chart, and I will be offering readings so you guys can come and book a reading, um, to understand where Libra is in your chart, then you can begin to create new patterns around the way you relate. But you have to identify the patterns that you're already in, right? So if you have ideas that, you know, people don't really understand you, that's a pattern that you've been telling yourself for a while. And then you create that in your life and you experience relationships where you're misunderstood. Or if you have, you know, if you're an overgiver, you know, or you, you're constantly giving of yourself and shrinking to make to make another person feel more comfortable, that's a pattern. That's something, what is it, little girl? Stop it. That's a pattern that you want to begin to look at and reorganize. You want to reorganize the energies, right? And reorganizing them by taking responsibility. That's the thing about... Um, Libra, it, you have to take responsibility for everything showing up in your life. And I don't want to say have to, you don't have to do shit, but if you do, you will actually begin, be able to make more progress than if you don't. Right. So this tendency that we have, I know I have had where I might say, you know, this person is doing this and why did they do this and blaming them and you know, they did this and they did that and all of that. You have to take responsibility for all of that. Well, why would I create an experience where where somebody's doing this, right? That's how you take responsibility for it. Rather than saying they're doing this, you go, why would I create a relationship or an experience where I'm with somebody who would do this? Why would I create experiences where I feel disrespected? Why, Why would I create experiences where I feel dishonored? Why would I create experiences where I feel like I'm not seen? Or why would I create experiences where I feel like people are not listening? Or whatever your story is, right? Whatever your story is about love relationships. Um, you know, for me, I, I used to create relationships with men and I used to feel like men were destructive and, and men weren't willing to do the work and men weren't open hearted. Well, why would you create that? What is that based upon? Right. So but we, you have to do the work to question yourself. So look at the last three weeks in your life. See what patterns have been up. I know for me, I have had a um, I've been noticing um, a, a narrative I have in my head around um, not liking, right? Like being in company in close proximity with people that I don't feel like I like them, right? And and it's a rare thing for me to not feel like I like somebody, but I but I have it going on lately. It's something that I have going on, and and in the past, what I would do is just placate and act as if I would still participate even if I didn't feel connected to the person or feel like this was an environment that worked for me I would just still go along to get along but what I have started doing this week is like you know what if I don't like them I'm not going to act like I like them I'm not going to act like it I'm not going to smile to make nice I'm not going to I'm going to just be like no no thank you And that is so fucking hard for me to do, but I'm starting to love it. (laughs) I'm starting to just honor my energy because what, what happens is when we are placating and going along to get along, we're dishonoring our energy. And when we dishonor our energy, then we create more of that in our lives. So it's important to really give yourself the opportunity to feel what you feel. And it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be like, I don't, I, I don't like this because of why it doesn't matter why it just doesn't resonate. It just doesn't feel aligned. It's just not how it is. Right. And that's okay. Nothing is wrong with that. So that's what I'm doing. I'm literally giving myself the opportunity to go into my own 
relationships and question every relationship I have. I know I have this one relationship with a person in my life where I feel like they do things for me. And I feel like because they do things for me, I'm supposed to do things for them. Like that's what's equitable. But now I'm going, well, if they want to do things for me, that's fine. And if I want to accept it, that's fine. But I don't have to do anything for them in return. I I don't have to. Like, why do I have to, right? Unless I really want to. If I'm moved to do it, then yes. But if I'm not moved to do it, I'm not moved to do it. It's as simple as that, right? But that's a, for me, it's, that's a real, that's a real new way of being in my life um, that is allowing me to be really deeply true to myself. So this Mercury retrograde in Libra is just starting. It's going to be going on for three weeks. We already had three weeks of shadow. So that's what I said. Look at the pattern that's showing up. We're going to have three weeks of Mercury actually being retrograde. And so then you have an opportunity to then reacclimate the pattern. That's what that's what that's what Mercury retrogrades are for. You get to reacclimate the pattern. Catch yourself in the act. Take responsibility and then make a new choice and make a new choice enough times so that you actually then own it and embody it. It actually becomes yours. Right. And and this is the, what I've discovered is that being authentic is being authentic requires deep questioning. It requires deep introspection because being authentic is really something that is unique to only you. So you have to know what your authenticity is. So it can occur, like, if I'm in my truth, like I have a lot of Aries planets, and Aries is in opposition to Libra. So my authenticity can occur as mean, uh, mean-spirited, or, um, you know, adversarial. And, you know, I have to just make peace with that, because I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just being true to myself. So I'm actually practicing being more mean, (laughs) which is something that can actually benefit me if I just learn how to say no. When we were traveling this um, for the last couple of weeks, um, I've shared this before. There was a woman in the space that I just didn't resonate with energetically. I just could not resonate with her. Her energy would take me into a place. Have you ever encountered? Let me say, have you ever encountered someone when you get into their space, you feel one way? And then whatever's going on with them, however they start to intermingle with your energy, it can take you to like from zero to 17 in a split second. Right. And that and this person was doing that. I could every time I just got into their space, I could be centered. But then they would do something. And before you know it, I was like off to something else. And so I decided I'm not fucking with them. I just don't want to exchange energy with them. And that is it. And so I stopped. (laughs) Um, And so I stopped doing that. And literally, I watched the person begin to like gravel and, uh, and I, and I know, and I recognize that too, because I have done that before. When I have been in the space of somebody who won't give me their energy, I'll start to gravel and, uh, and want and pull and energetically pull. And literally I just, I will watch them energetically pull and just go, that's fine for them, but I'm not buying into it. And I just let it be what it was. And it restored me in a way that I didn't even realize that I needed to be stored, restored. And one of the things that I've been working with, and this is something I want to suggest for everyone, caring, right? I really give myself permission to not care. I just don't want to care. Because when I care, then I'm carrying it, right? So when I care about what people have going on, I literally pick it up and I carry it with me. Go check out Kamisha, um, Blackfire Nation here. I was just on the phone with her and she was saying that to care means to carry. And I don't want to carry everybody's fucking stuff. I just don't want to. We only have so much energy of our own. So when we are caring about everything that everybody has going on, you literally are using your energetic resource for somebody to lighten somebody else's load. And you don't, it's not your responsibility to lighten somebody else's load. I'm a coach 
and a teacher. So I do do that with my clients because that is my job when I'm doing it with a client. But regular people who I'm not who I'm not in service to in that way, I am not here to care for that. That's not what we're here to do, right? So literally, it's this opportunity to see what do I really care about? How do I want to spend my energy caring? And for me, I don't want to care about people's bullshit. I don't want to care about people's egocentric needs to be seen. And, you know, I don't want to care about things that don't have any value to me to make somebody else feel good about themselves. Why? And I don't want anybody caring about that for me. Right? Let's be grown ups. Let's be grown ass people who can take responsibility. Now, for children, that's a different thing. Yes, I'm going to care all day if you're a child because we are teaching children how to relate and how to be. But if you pay attention, like my son, for instance, like my son don't care about nothing he don't need to care about. <laughs> and he is my greatest teacher. So this Mercury retrograde energy is, um, <laughs> this Mercury retrograde energy is an opportunity for us to put down many of the burdens that we care re that are ours that we don't need to carry and that are other people's that we don't need to carry. You can put it down because we don't need to carry things that weigh us down, that um, keep us stuck and that hold us in patterns that no longer serve us. And so while the sun is in Libra and Mercury is retrograding in Libra for the next three weeks, pay attention to what you're carrying. Is it worth it or is it not? And if it's worth it, then by all means, put it in place in ways that you can actually win. And if it's not worth it, burn it down throw it away, spit on it, kick it out the kick it out of the atmosphere. <laughs> and that is that. All right, you all. The moon is in Gemini. Gemini is about the story you're telling, right? So just tell yourself a story of your own victories. Tell yourself a story of freedom, that your relationships are whole and holistic, that your relationships are healthy and um equitable, that your relationships benefit you and the people that you are in relationship with, and that you are not giving yourself away for free, and that you are not taking, that you are not taking, because it goes both ways, you know. Um, we always hear people talking about being, you know, you, you, um, you don't want to be around negative people. Negative people benefit us, but the reality is that sometimes we're the negative people, so we have to take responsibility for all that. Sometimes we're the vampires. Sometimes we're the ones who are um, doing the things that we don't, you know, that we don't like. So, and we all have everything in us. So, just take responsibility. And when you do that, when you when you heal it inside of yourself, you also heal it for the collective. So with that, remember, lemon is the best, <laughs> lemon is the best deodorant ever. Literally, no odor at all, kills everything. And it works when you're in the desert because Tom's does not work in the desert, but lemon does. Okay, you all, peace and blessings. Have a wonderful day. I'm the Moon Mama. Bye-bye.